What's up everyone? Got a pretty interesting box of cards here that we're gonna break. Uh, they are called Cartoons from 1993. This is a cat who uh, wants to get involved and apparently really likes these. So they are made by Cartoons, that's the company. Uh, I don't know if they made any other sets uh, any other years. I don't think they did, I think this is it. Uh, I first got one of these a while ago on a repack and it was this Sabo and I thought it was kind of neat and uh, looked at the rest of the set and it's really it's really fun so you have a uh, Sabo in the box you have Pudge I think that's Ruben Sierra I don't know I think it may be Ruben Siesta I don't know uh, Bo Jackson and the best of them all is Willie McGee as an alien. And if you followed my channel for any period of time, you know I've been speaking about Willie McGee being an alien and uh, the conspiracy, the cover up involved with that. So uh, this is just another piece of the puzzle. So I actually opened up a couple packs on stream and uh, one for myself off stream to see what they're like. And even the uh, the packs are kind of neat. The, uh, is that Rambo uh, Canseco? And there is randomly packed ultra etch foil cards. Not regular etch foil cards. Not super, not great, but ultra. Uh, Big Bang Bucks. So these are the, the subsets. Uh, Big Bang Bucks, the foil etch subset field of greed puzzle set and Politics and Baseball by a, a political cartoonist, Dave Simpson. So, it's pretty cool. So let's, let's open some of these up. I don't know if we're gonna do a whole box. There's a lot of packs, but I really wanna get into these. Come on, dude, what are you looking for? So we have a Joe Crater, not Joe Carter, Joe Crater. Very reminiscent of, uh, he plays for the, uh, the Tofu Jays. And it gives a little goofiness on back. The most common excuse is given by outfields for not catching one of Joe Crater's rocket shots. The sun got in my eyes. I thought you called it. I lost it in the lights. I lost it in the dark. Blah, 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 blah. Enough. We have Jay Bellhop. Have glove. Will travel. Uh, okay, so this looks like umpire's convention. Maybe not. I thought that was one of the political cards. Uh, that is more accurate now than, uh, well, I don't know, whatever, but it is it's pretty, uh, maybe that is the uh, political cartoon, Dave, uh, whatever his name was, beginning with an S. I like that. I like these all. I'm hoping I can get a full set in here. Just back a little bit. You are being a goof. It was storming out, so he's just coming out from under the bed, finally. We have Roberto Alamode, <laughs> um, Robin Adventura, a little Indiana Jones parody, uh, Wild Pitch Mitch, it's pretty accurate. Oh, cool, we got one of the big box cards. So, uh, Six Millions Joe Crater, Big League Players Association. Oh, let's see the last card first. All right, this is part of the Field of Greed puzzle. The strike, strike one. Those over there, 1972 strike. But let's see this thing. The Big League Ball Player Association. It's a nice looking card. I wish it was centered more. I do plan on sending some of these in to get graded. Uh, and it gives his salary on the back. Pretty cool. Got some nice shine to it. Uh, I, you know, I was thinking about the hobby earlier and how much it's changed over the past year, how insane it's got, and, you know, it's, it's tough to keep up, it's, you're getting, well, I'm getting priced out, a lot of people that subscribe to this channel and other channels, everybody uh, seems to be getting priced out a bit, and uh, it's a rat race, it's competitive, you, you know, and it's, 
you gotta be at the store every day to even find stuff. Uh, so I, I really enjoy doing this stuff a lot more now. Kevin Happier. I like this. I pulled this from the, uh, what teams do you play for? The Gargoyles. The Frank and Thomas. It's a nice looking card. We have Ryan Sandbox. Rob Quibble. He was a real jerk. Oh, I think we got one of those super etched foil cards there. This box, I say, was not very expensive. I think it was like 20 something bucks. I think they're probably going to be more expensive soon. Um, especially if they follow the trend of most, you know, 80s and 90s stuff. But uh, well, that's cool. Mark, he's gruesome. I love this card. This will be probably one of my favorite cards in the set. It works for what team he plays for the expose. Um, so I think it was like 25 bucks with free shipping and uh, they actually messed up on the shipping so it would have usually been like 35, 36 bucks. Um, Charlie Hayes and is this one of those? Joe, I can't even read that. Joe Rio Stat. Is it Jose Rio Stat? Okay. Jose Rio Stat. Gold ball. It's nice looking. It's pretty neat. I'm going to sleeve here. Sleeve this up. I love the 90s inserts. I'm always looking for more 90s stuff if you have any. Oops. Another Ace, or Ace Ventura, Robin Adventura. I feel like we'll probably see a lot of repeat. I don't know how big the set is. Okay, so here's one of the political cards. Uh, the kids are real hot prosperity. Smart agent, uptown PR man, a clean urine test. What year is this, 1993? Hot prospect, clean urine test. Oh, how things would change a couple years later. Uh, standardized entrance example of all players, James Fenimore. Catcher in the Rye. It was baseball's most prestigious award. Get your butt out of here. Come on. Please get your butt out of here. We have Dr. Ock. Who's that supposed to be? Why? Doc Gooden, I guess? Yeah, Doc Good. Okay, uh, Reggie October. That's kind of. It's not really a. a I don't know. I'm not too great at that. I'm not doing the wave. I'm being held up by these ticket prices. You know, I have ticket stubs right over here. 1993. It's pretty cheap. If I remember, it was like go to the game for like 10 or 15 bucks. Tony twin looking real thick in the, in the front there and we have a on strike let me know if there's any you know oddball sets from this period that you'd like to see me open because I would love to open up more of these greenback jack Jack McDowell just opened up, or just found it, one of his autographs in my collection I was going through. I don't know where I got it. Uh, Silly Fanatic, a Philly Fanatic. Charlie Bustle, really need to slide into first on a walk. They, uh, I say they should have done something gambling, but. Andres Colorado. I know a lot of people like that. Brett Butter. That's a good one. Uh, the Say What Kid. We have Dennis Ex Excellency and, oops, another 
uh, fill the dreams or fill the greed puzzle. You know what's interesting about these cards is I have, except for that one repack, I don't even remember what it was, or mystery pack or something. I have never seen these before, and they're pretty nice looking, uh, and they're they're fun. I would have thought I've seen, over the years I would have seen these, but. Um, no. Who is this? Pat Moustache. Money Bagswell. Oh, hey. Is that. Oh, it's Bill Clinton and Newt Gingrich. The slide. Interesting. Newt Gingrich, Gingrich's contract with baseball. Don Battingly. Someone asked me if there was a Mattingly in the set. And I think it was Scotty. And uh, if there is a double, I will surely send it your way. I just want to like, send, get the set together. Another Greenback Jack. Checklist. And another Field of Dreams puzzle. It's a 36 packs, pretty good. I'll tell you, I've been watching a channel called Tan Man Baseball, and I've watched him before in the past. He was the uh, Jose Canseco Super Collector. Man, he's got an underrated channel. Just so much cool stuff. He does custom cards. Um, you know, be they cut signatures or, or you know, prisms and uh, really into the 90s inserts and doing a lot of that stuff. Um, so if you haven't checked out Tan Man Baseball, it's it's a great channel and uh, very super knowledgeable. And just by the by, this guy hiding over here, what are you looking? Uh, John Vizda or Vizda or Jim Vizda. I found this card. Where are you going? I found this card years ago, uh, Gastonia pitcher, and I thought he. I thought it was, I'm not being a jerk, I thought it was a Special Olympics card. I thought it was, uh, oh my gosh, where are you going? I thought it was um, Corky from Life Goes On, and it's not. And then I thought, man, that it's just a, actually I won't say what I was going to say next, but I looked his name up, and this guy killed his wife, I believe. And, yeah, he killed his wife. So we're going to put him over there. Scary. Don't even think about it, dude. We're watching White Lightning from oh, Moonshine, me, Moonshine Mountain, 1964. Herschel Gordon Lewis exploitation film. We have Neon Peon Slanders. You're going to see some... I don't know what this cat is doing. Toad Stottlemyre. Tim Wallet. Rambo Canseco. I think it's my third Rambo Canseco in the packs I opened prior. Holy cow. Harry Carey. Uh, Alan Trampoline. And another on strike card. Uh, if you're not familiar with Herschel Gordon Lewis stuff, he was. Did 10,000 Maniacs. Uh, oh, jeez. Wizard of Gore. I don't know, a lot of stuff. He was like, he is the, the godfather of gore, gory movies. That's what they call him, and it's pretty accurate. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of gore movies, and I think it's gore for the sake of gore is it's stupid. Uh, kind of like nudity for the sake of nudity is, is stupid. Um, unless it's a film designed just for that. Juan de Gonzalez making the uh, doing a little magic. Kfax, Sandy Kfax. Uh, Robbery Thompson. Not sticky at all, which is nice. No, no paper loss. Greg Mad Dogs. If I recall, too, Robin Hood. Oh, gosh. 
That was Wade Boggs that just fell from the sky. Thank you, Nina. Out of the park, Channel Park. Uh, loose Pinella. And another uh, puzzle card. Yeah, Her Herschel Gordon Lewis. Uh, oh, man, I can't. I can't remember his other movies. Um, but they're interesting. Very, uh, like I said, Hicks voice or you know redneck cinema Ryan Sandberg Rob speaking of Lou Pinella there's a fight on YouTube you can there's a, a clip of it of Rob Dibble attacking Lou Pinella gruesome tales uh, Charlie Hayes it's a different one we have Steve saxophone with Bill Clinton in the back Uh, we have Snooze and Ted and Tarzan Jane. You gonna knock this off? Go ahead. You know, he's doing this thing as cats do when they want to, they just get up on something and they just start knocking it over, things off the table, or in this case, my speaker cabinet for no good reason. All right, bow action. This is a good one. This, I. I was hoping to find some uh, that. Are, oh, it's the etch, the foil one. Oh, that's so perfect. I'm so thrilled. Wish that corner was a little bit better. Uh, Bo is no. There's something. What was this? And that. So, Bo is uh up there with my my main PC. So, that is a pretty awesome foil card to, to get. Grab some. Sorry about this. I'm gonna find the. Good gosh. Okay. I'm trying to find some sleeves. That's exciting. I'm listening to the band Fervor, spelled Furferv, or something. F V R F V R. Tales from the Emerald Kingdom, 2020. It is dungeon synth, dark ambient stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm really thrilled with that. I wonder if there's a full card for every card. And if so, I would like to get, I don't know, maybe some cards from, from you guys that you like. What's that? Umpire one again, or the uh, agent, doctor, okay. This is one, I, I think this one stinks. Reggie October, they could have just, they could have done a million things with, with that. Now, compared to the last uh, parody cards I opened, the skinnies in basketball, which are borderline, uh, or borderline unshowable, I, I was debating whether I was gonna even do them or not because uh, they are clearly insensitive. Limbaugh? Oh, Babe Rush. Oh, Babe Rush Limbaugh. Okay. Uh, but you know, okay, so we got a dollar one. Who's this? Seven million. Why am I? Oh, Treasury Bonds. It's Barry Bonds. And the thing. That's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. So these have a pretty good shine to them. And that is a pretty clean card. If I don't fill, uh, if I don't get the entire set, uh, I will buy the subsets. I'll be there to complete it. Oh, boys! I, I was saying something before. I can't remember what it was. Okay, here's a new one. We have Video Nomo. Okay, it, it is a Ruben Siesta. Okay, that was a. Hey, batter, I'm a fastball. No, I'm a curved ventriloquist. <laughs> what is your favorite comedy movie? All right, so Ken Griffey Jr., that's good. Ken Spiffy Jr., my bad, my bad. Uh, I like that card a lot. That's potential grade. Of course, it's sticky. We have Foul, foul Boggs. 
What team did he play for? The Crankies. Tommy Lasagna. Roberto Cemente. <laughs> so stupid. Um, that's actually pretty cool, though. I don't know. I also watched a movie earlier called Horror Hospital. Horror Hospital. This is a schlocky 70s. It's kind of like the, the British version of a Herschel Gordon Lewis film. Uh, and the uh, main villain was the guy that played Alfred in the Tim Burton Batman movies. True Brett. Oh, like True Grit, okay. We have Fed Mc, Fred McGruel. Fred? Fred McGruff. Like McGruff the crime dog? Yeah. Like, that's not a good... Because they call him the crime... Uh, I don't know. Okay. Tom Clowning. Aussie Myth. I don't really... I don't get that one. I mean, unless... For credit cards. I guess I, I don't know what they're trying to say. Uh, Doolin Dalton. Holding somebody up. Or Doolin Dalton, excuse me. Not Doodlin Dalton. We have, what is this? Replacement card. This card... Perry baseball phone card set each show. Wow, what is what is this? This card is replaceable for Cartoons Party baseball phone card set. Each set includes four collectible and usable phone cards. Each card contains 50 minutes of prepaid phone time. So that would have been pretty. Oh, these are from 95, not 93. My bad. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try to find these, and this is definitely. I consider part of the set. So this is a redemption. Replacement card number three. Um, that's really neat. It's kind of sucks that we don't... We're not going to get one. I also... So this week I bought a bunch of tobacco cards. Um, I'm starting to get... I've always been interested in them. But much more interested. I don't really... I'm not going for the sports cards as much as I'm doing the, like, actors and actresses of the day. I did the one I... Two sets I ordered was one of Lucky Charms uh, from 34, I believe, which is just cards of different Lucky Charms, like Rabbit's Foots and um, different things like that. And we have Roger Clemency. Dennis Smartinez. E equals MC square. I've been watching a lot of math videos lately too. Cloud Johnson. I guess it's supposed to be Randy Johnson, right? Cloud Johnson is six foot ten. Yeah, place for the Marinards. I just I like the birds sweating. I just wish that like Cloud doesn't sound anything like Randy Johnson, like he could have done Something else, I don't know. Doug Drawback. Daryl Raspberry. And no salary cap. Uh, I've been watching yeah, a lot of math videos. And uh, I would like to do more math. If that makes any sense. I do have a couple books I've been looking at recently to... Uh, Brush up on my math skills that are there poor. Pow Bell, Albert Bell. What is this little, I did, you know, this little worm is in every one of these, I think. What does it say? Sean Tungsten. Ah, oh, like tungsten steel, which says right on his arm. We have Pledge of Allegiance to the Almighty Dollar. Ah, uh, what does that say? Throwing out the first contract, cheap sales. 
Mark McBash. That's like right now with all the Mark McGuire hype. That's like a four thousand dollar card. We have a David Clone six million dollar card on one of these. They should have just kept it David Cone and then did the cone head. Why would you call it David Clone and then have the? Like it was David Clone. There should be multiples of him in the picture. Like you could have like five David Co Cones in there. It's, it said just have David Cohn in this picture. I don't I don't follow. That was I'm over here seven in the morning criticizing cartoons LLC. I was originally going to watch uh, Star Wars tonight, the last uh, Rise of Skywalker, and then review it while I was doing these cards, but. And I watched some other stuff, and then there was a. Uh, I watched a movie on Amazon with Elijah Wood, silly fanatic, uh, called "Come to Daddy," and it's really it's it's weird and it's surreal, and but it's interesting, it's fun. Uh, I really really liked it. I'm glad I'm getting a lot of doubles and triples because I know a lot of people that would like these cards. Uh, who wouldn't want a Brett but Butter card? Yeah, say hey kid. Excellency. What does this say? Facebook. Son, I hope this incident hasn't ruined your love for America's favorite pastime and its heroes. No, sir, I still want to be a lawyer when I grow up. Eh, 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 eh. We got like half a box left. Yeah, we're not going to do the whole box. Already 25 minutes. We'll go up like 30 minutes. You know, that's even, that's much longer than I thought I'd wanted to, or I did want to go on this. I love the, doing long videos, but people, you know, it's hard to, 30 minutes is a long time to just sit down and just watch something or listen to it. Ken Spiffy, cool, we got two of those. Foul Bogs. Roberto Clemente and Joe DiMaggio is at Ty Cobb. I mean, no. Is that Ty Cobb? I don't know. So, tomorrow we will be live. You know, if you haven't checked out the lives, come and visit. It's fun. Uh, it's not just about cards, it's a place where you can find cards as well as take a break from cards. Lots of good people, fun people, nice people, smart folks. It's a good, it's a good place. I complain about YouTube a lot and my channel and, you know, got another replacement card. Replacement card number two. Card by, oh, oh, there's a binder, 16 volume. Ah, oh. yeah, this card, 1895. So there is a binder. I'm gonna have to look at getting that. The binder's probably like 700 bucks. So I do a lot of complaining privately about this, the state of this channel and, you know, being a wine bag about views and things like that. But in the end, I will say that I am really, really proud and happy with the way or the, the group of folks that have Raphael Palmist, okay, yeah. Um, and that, that have, you know, stuck around and, and been part of the streams and stuff like that. Uh, a really good group of folks. So. All right, I've seen all these. I feel like we've probably, okay, cool. We have a Bobby, wait a minute. Bobby Bonus, oh, is it Bobby Bonilla? Okay.
Bobby Bonilla. I'll do one more pack, and then I will run 30 minutes. I will leave you all alone. Roger Clemency. We have Dennis Martinez. Cloud Johnson. Uh, Doug Drawback. Daryl Raspberry. Is that a new one? Yeah, it is. Andy Van Tyke. Aw, how cute. Uh, Steve Bravery. Oh, it's, a, that's, it's hard to see on the camera, the foil cards. And one of these. Grr, pop. Steve Bravery. Got, oh, I, I, I completely missed the Wizard of Oz thing. Got the Scarecrow on the back and the Tin Man and all that stuff. When I was a teen, well, yeah, when I was 1920, I, was, I tried to write a, a Wizard of Oz story. Because it's public domain. You're, you, anybody can use stuff from Wizard of Oz. And uh, about, like, what if these were, like, kind of if it was a horror movie. And I had the, the car, uh, Cowardly Lion, when he got his cards, became like a warlord. And part of the Land of Oz was just kind of like Mordor from Lord of the Rings. And uh, Tin Man got his heart and then had his heart broken and became like a maniac. And the Scarecrow got his brain. And when he got his brain, it was really a good brain. And he just went, he went insane. Uh... Like it was too much. It was, uh, uh, and then the whole plot was they had to destroy the yellow brick road. They had to get together to destroy the yellow brick road. And like the Munchkin Village was all, it was kind of like, um, uh, like a rundown southern, like a ghost town with uh, almost like mutants. The Munchkins became like mutants, mutated somehow. And, Instead of Toto, I had a little creature that could that wouldn't talk. It would just say these little rhymes. But, I know. And that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, I really enjoyed opening these cards. They were fun. And I uh, will see you all soon. Peace.